After finishing last in the Constructors' Championship in 2018 and 19, the Williams FW43 is a car the team hopes will turn around its fortunes. But judging by the car that ran for the first time on Monday ahead of the start of pre-season testing, Williams has not done enough to transform its fortunes despite addressing some of the fundamental problems of last year's car. Williams has confirmed there are no fundamental concept changes with the FW34, meaning it is very much an evolution of its unsuccessful predecessor. The focus has been on achieving the maximum performance step for the resources it has available, with the car benefiting from being lighter than last year's overweight machine and stronger aerodynamically. The result is a car that does not look dramatically different to its predecessor, but that the team is confident is superior both aerodynamically and mechanically. The nose of the car that was shaken down does not follow the prevailing trend of being more narrow, giving it an unusually wide look compared to its 2020 rivals. The front wing also appears to be a mixture of the loaded inboard and outboard concepts. Williams has effectively separated the inboard and outboard parts, with the outboard end swooping down to produce outwash around the front tyre. But there is also a transition from the inboard to the outboard end part way along the wing that risks creating uneven airflow across the front wing as a whole. For those who have taken a more clear direction, the airflow will be uniform across the front wing, and therefore still uniform when you change its angle. But dropping off in the transition between inboard and outboard risks compromising that uniformity. The front and rear suspension geometry has not changed dramatically, although the mounting point of the top wishbone to the chassis is a little lower, particularly for the front leg. This will impact the anti-dive characteristics of the car, in the hope of giving enough dive to give the driver feel, but without destabilising the aero. The side pods and coke bottle area are a little more tightly packaged than last year, but there's not a step change here. The side pods sweep down more dramatically across the back of the radiator compared to last year. The coke bottle has an undercut to allow the airflow on top of the floor to be pulled over the diffuser surface. The airflow exits from the radiators and is contained in the bulbous area above the undercut. The race's technical expert Gary Anderson suggests this is unnecessary because it should be possible to create that effect with a transition through the inner surfaces of the gearbox and internal bodywork without changing the outside surfaces. The 2020 Williams is a step forward, but probably not by enough. The car is behind its rivals in terms of concept and is not as tightly packaged, with key trends like those towards a narrow nose not yet adopted. Williams has said it has made significant improvement to its ways of working, improving its aerodynamic simulations and correlation to the track, so if this car is a reasonable step forward, that does at least prove it's moving in the right direction. Even if the new FW43 isn't good enough to climb the grid, should it work as anticipated, that will give Williams encouragement for 2021. All the fundamentals are there and there's no reason not to expect the car to be better than it was last year, but given how far off the back Williams was, that's probably not going to be enough to put the team back into the thick of the midfield fight.